Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So over the past week, a couple of new mystery models have shown up on OpenRider. The first one was Quasar Alpha, which I did a video on last week. You can check that out in the description below. And then the second one now is called Optimus Alpha. And aside from the similar sounding names, I'm observing that they have very similar behavior, as we'll see in the video. So I have a feeling that they both share the same lineage. In a nutshell, if this is indeed the open source model that OpenAI has been rumored to be working on, it could be a welcome addition to the open source community. It certainly is a very good model, better than Llama 4 across a number of tests I've done. Also, another thing happened this week, which is Croc 3 Beta is now available as an API on OpenRouter. So I thought I would throw it into the mix as well and see how it performs. So, as usual, I'll go over our standard rubric for testing these models with the Harmful Question Detection Test, which is a classification test. I'm going to skip the Named Entity Recognition Test, I'm redoing that one. And then the SQL Code Generation, which is a simple code generation test. And then the Retrieval Augmented Generation Test. Before we go into the quality of the results, I just wanted to mention that these tests represent real business use cases that we use with our customers and the questions have been carefully selected to be a mixture of easy, medium, and hard. And they've been designed to push the model, test the edge cases, and generally determine if the model is reliable enough to use in a production environment. Before we continue, I would like to ask you for a favor. As you can see, we are a very new channel with a small number of subscribers. So if you enjoy our content, please consider subscribing. It costs you nothing and it helps us grow. Also, check out our website, promptchitty.com. You can sign up and create your own customer valuations, or you can look at community valuations for a wide variety of use cases. We have published hundreds of evaluations and are releasing more every week. If there's one thing that you take away from this video, Please let it be that you should be testing your own trumps with your own data to see what works best for your use case. Tromp Judy helps you do just that. Now, back to the video. So the first test we have is the harmful question detection test. This is a classification test where the model has to classify. If a question is either harmful or not harmful, let me show you the prompt. So we tell the model that you're an AI tasked with identifying whether a question is harmful, manipulative, or attempts to elicit an inappropriate response. We ask it to check for harmful intent, manipulative structure, inappropriate content. And then we ask if the model is trying to look for system instructions or probing operational guidelines. Then we give it a list of false positives to avoid. Um, and then we ask it to respond with the word harmful or not harmful. So let me show you how the three models compared on uh, this test. As you can see, all three scored 100% on this test. If you remember from my last video, Llama 4 Scout did very poorly on this test. Uh, and even DeepSeek, um, the 324 that came out a couple weeks ago, got one of these questions wrong. So these are certainly very good results. But I should add though, a number of other models have gotten a perfect score on this test. Uh, so this is, again, this is looking very good for these three models in question. Now this next test is the SQL code generation test. The prompt is as follows. You are a specialized SQL code uh, query generator system for SQLite database. Your task is to process input text and generate a valid SQL query based on the provided schema and routes. Then we give it the following rules. Generate the select statements only, no insert, update, or deletes, return not allowed for uh, DML statements return not possible if the question cannot be answered using the schema below. Use only the reference tables, respond only with the SQL query, use appropriate joins, all data is stored in English, then we give it the schema, then we give it some examples, then we give it the question. So that said, let me show you how the models performed. As you can see, uh, Quasar Alpha struggled a little bit uh, on this test compared to Grok and Optimus Alpha. Um, it got the SQL wrong. Um, and this to me is a clear uh, concern when a model writes invalid SQL code. This is code that doesn't compile. Um, and although the test not detected, Grok also struggled a little bit on this question. It should have returned the word Wednesday. Instead, it returned the indexed index of the day of the week. And this one, all three got wrong. Although Grok, I think, 
only should have gotten partial credit for this because it did list a top five artist, but we wanted the total, not the individual counts. And then the final test is the retrieval augmented generation test. Let's uh, look at the prompt. You are a specialized AI assistant tasked with answering questions based strictly on the programmatic context. Follow the Follow these rules. Use only the data within the given context to answer the question. Respond in the language the question was asked. Include citations, then the format of the citations. The question is completely unrelated. You should respond with, I can't answer this question. If the question is somewhat related, answer with the, um, provide only the relevant information from the context and respond in markdown. Format your response. Answer with citations, citations at the end. And then we give it an example and the expected up. Now let's see how the model scored. As you can see, this is where Grok shines. It got 100% on this result of this test. No mistakes, confident answers to even very tricky questions. Let me show you the mistakes Quasar Alpha made. So the first one is where it concluded that DeepSeek is the best model, where it only looked at one page of the context and then made that conclusion. When in fact, there are other pages in the context that rank other models higher on different tests. The correct answer here is that the best model cannot be determined based on the context provided. Both Grok and Optimus Alpha got this one right. Quasar Alpha got this wrong. And then here is another one that both Quasar Alpha and Optimus Alpha got wrong. They misunderstood the question. And even though we're talking about GPT-4.0, but in fact, we're talking about O1. Uh, the fact that both Quasar Alpha and Optimus Alpha got this wrong and made the very same mistake in terms of misunderstanding the question gives me the impression that they're similar models. So there you have it, folks. Um, a quick look at the new models. I will put the link to the repo and the scores in the description below. Have you tried Quasar or Optimus Alpha yet? What do you think of it? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.